Hello everyone. Welcome to Stamp It All Day with Bev. I'm telling you, Facebook changes often. The whole setup was different this morning. I mean this morning. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hi Donna! This evening and it freaked me out a little bit and as soon as I pressed play everything went back to normal. Hi Karen! Welcome, welcome. I see a bunch popping on already. Wonderful. How's everybody doing? Hi, Louise. Hi, Susan. Nice to see you again. Thanks for coming back. I got all my Christmas trees up. I'm not done. Hey, Joyce! But I got all my trees up and mostly decorated. I'm putting the ribbon in now. Um, probably tomorrow I'll finish, hopefully. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys are all caught up on what you want to do. Hi Terry, for Christmas. I have a few presents. Yes, presents. Usually my kids want money. And this year they've all been, you know, been asking and they are, oh, they've been giving me answers. Hey Roseanne. Um, so I, it's wonderful. I'm going to actually have presents under the tree this year. Yeah, I was wondering, Karen, thanks for telling me you're watching from Texas. I, ho I know you're having a great time. You always do with all that family, fun, fun, fun. Good for you. We have a few more minutes and I have a card that I think I designed that I've never seen before. Well, I, <laughs> I think I designed it. I know I designed it, but it's called a swing card if you saw the title and I think I've not ever seen it before. So, it's an original design of mine. Hello, Lynn, welcome. So this should be fun. It was fun for me. I hope it's fun for you. Hi, Carol Schaefer. You guys are all so good coming up on, coming on time. Let's see, what else did I do? I went shopping a few times with my daughter again, crafted with my daughter again. She, um, she's, like the principal and um she's in a charter school so they call it director but anyway she's making gifts for her staff hi eva hi diane wow we have nevada here texas here florida here i forget where everybody else is but i actually have a book now and if you're the winner when you send me your address i'm writing it down in a book so you don't have to keep sending it to me again. So um, there's different people from Ohio and just different places, so it's wonderful to see. Connecticut, Car Carol Schaefer is from Connecticut. Wow, I love it there, oh my gosh. I've only been once, but loved it. Um, okay, one more minute. Almost there, just waiting to make sure everybody has time they don't miss anything I don't want to start early uh, let's see yeah Eva's down the street she's literally on the corner so I love it she's one of my downline too I love that more I always dreamed of having a neighbor as a downline and my dream came true all right let's get started it's seven o'clock and people are sharing and saying hi and telling me where they're from so it's already fun for me i hope you guys find fun here today and that you uh, sprinkle on and water whatever we want to call it to your friends so they can come and visit too and we can have even more friends the more the merrier right okay so i mentioned i i named this card a swing card because it has a little swing to it so I'm hoping you've never seen it before, because if you have, you need to tell me where. I've never seen it before. and But I got the idea from um, a card that I received from a friend. Hers is different, different, but I got, um, oh, you got the ornament, thank you. Oh, I'm glad, you like it so, okay, good. You got it, wonderful, and you like it, yay. So anyway, I got this store-bought card, and I, semi took the idea from there and I'm not going to show you that card because I'm going to try to make one exactly like that someday um, I worked on it a little bit but haven't mastered it yet so okay let's turn down to my desk so we can just jump right 
in. Oh no, let's not. Let's talk about what's what the prize is for an order in December. If you place an order with me in December, your name is going to be entered into a random drawing and I have these beautiful Hi Virginia. I have these beautiful, they're called iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. You have not seen them before because they're in the new mini upcoming catalog for January. So you'll get these a little bit faster than you would normal normally if you were the winner. And then also we need to tell you who won the explosion card that I made on Tuesday. So let me see, hi Linda. If you uh, were not here, let me open it up. I'm all kicked back, my legs up. I'm just relaxed right now. Actually, I hurt my back. Too much decorating, I think. Too much bending over, not correctly, my daughter tells me. So here's the explosion card. Um, so let's see who won that card. Uh, so I'm sitting kicked back here in my chair with my leg up and like we're visiting in person that would be so much fun I would love to meet you guys hi Annie all in person someday maybe huh your demonstrators maybe a stampin up event or something okay so who won that explosion card Mary Jo Basti I don't think I saw her come on yet but usually she's here and if she's not here tonight she'll watch the replay I know she will Mary Jo, I don't have your name in the book yet. I mean, your address. So if you'll send it to me one last time, I will put it in my address book. And then I will, next time you win, I'll have it and you don't have to do that. Yeah, congratulations, Mary Jo. Okay, let's turn you down to my desk. Hi, Debbie Montero, how are you? Merry Christmas. Let's turn you down and let me see if anything else changed. If I know how to flip the camera, there's Roseanne. There we go. And we're backwards. There we go. All right, new host code. New host code, there we are. If you need that, to place an order with me, and there's my link, there's my email, and there is my YouTube channel. So I'll leave it, I'll just hold it there a second so you guys can take a snapshot if you need it and then we'll go on to the project okay important for this project <clears throat> excuse me is a take your pick tool wink estella memento ink stays on ink Whenever you use stays on ink, make sure you have a stays on refill and that you ink up your stays on. Uh, make sure it's inked up well if you're going to use it. And give the ink some time to settle into the pad. Because this pad is harder than, it's not soft like the other pads, it's soft. And so it takes a little while for the ink to soak in. Soft pastel assortments, page 126. There are only nine dollars did you guys know that we even had pastels in the catalog again because little miss beverly did not until about four or five months ago and i was embarrassed by that until i found out that sarah douglas also did not know that we had pence pastels in the catalog <laughs> and she was using them the other day in her life and i thought Oh my goodness, at least somebody in high places didn't know like I didn't know until about. I, knew, I found out sooner than she did, so actually I'm not, I, I wasn't quite as bad as she was, but that was pretty funny. So the pastels, we're going to need those. And the reason I love the pastels so much is because if you're new or if you want to color quickly, you can use these. So let's leave those out. I am going to use, these are new, they're called brush brass butterflies, and they are going to also be in the new mini catalog. So you don't see these anywhere unless you're a demonstrator and have the catalog already. I'm going to use the paper lattice. 
and that's in the annual catalog, page 141. I'm using Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set. I've jumped right out of Christmas because I think, you know, if you don't have your Christmas card ideas already or you're not haven't sent them out or have them ready to send out, then you're probably not going to do it. So we're going, jumping right out of Christmas. I use the uh, layering circle dies. And of course, as usual, the contour, scallop contour dies. And I use the big frame die specifically, again, this one here. Okay. Anything else that I use? I used the Dragonfly Punch. Post-it note. And all your adhesives. So tear and tape, mini glue dots, dimensionals. And I think that was it. Did I use any green? I don't think I used green glue this time. All right, let's get started. Put my pad over here. My tools over here. All righty. So let me show you the card. Here's the card. All done with pastels. And the reason I wanted to work with pastels tonight is because I've noticed that people that have been using the pastels have not been able to get a lot of color, bright color that you can see well like you can in this card. So I wanted to show you my little trick. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention that I use is the daubers. Um, I wanted to show you how I got this bright color in there. Okay, and why is this called a swing card? Well, see the brad, another thing that I didn't mention, and the ribbon. Um, see that brad up in the corner? Card just swings right open, and there is where the sentiment lies. See that brass butterfly in the lattice? And then open up the card and you just have a regular card. You tap here. I Oh, there. I've just tapped again. I told you Facebook is it all my all my um hi Cindy. Hi Lori. Okay, so all my um comments had gone away, but there they are back. I tapped on the screen and they're back. So now I can read. Thank you, Karen. So, anyway, I want to show you how I got so much brightness with the pastels. And everything is shimmery. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but it's very shimmery because of Wink Estella. All right. Here is the cardstock. It's all white. And I have two pieces of basic white and I use the contour die to cut them out in advance. Thanks, Carol. And here is a piece where I use the layering circle and I use a second from the largest to uh, cut out a circle on just a regular piece. Now this is, this is four and a quarter by five and a half, just like the card base. So here's the card base, four and a quarter by 11. And then you just fold that in half to make your card base. Thank you, Cookie. Welcome. And then, you know, you always need your regular tools like your bone folder and you might always want to have on your desk your snips, things like that. So let's go on to the inside of the card. I'm going to move this back a little bit. You're so glad Mary Jo won, me too. Isn't that nice? Okay, so what did I stamp on the inside? Thank you, thank you for your kindness is what I stamped on the inside. I have all my stamps out. You are an inspiration. Thank you for your kindness. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Memento ink to stamp the inside of the card. And when I see a little tiny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice and see if that's taking the ink well. It did. When I see a little tiny 
um, little tiny words there. Sometimes I have my marker, well always I have my marker out, and I just run over the um, sentiment with my marker. If the letters are small, because I'm never sure if it's gonna grab all the ink or not, but it did. So I'll just stamp this one here. Press, let it sink in, hold my paper, and lift. There we go. Then I will put my cover back on. And I will take my brass butterflies and my take your pick tool. And I'm just going to take a little one. And I'm going to set it right in there like that. Finish off the inside of the cards lickety split. Okay, now I'm gonna take the piece, same size as the card, four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna take this piece and I am going to flip it over and take my lattice. Oh dear, I only have one left. That's good to know, next order. Gotta get some of these. And I am gonna lay that down on this layer piece of cardstock, but it's the same size as the card, remember. And I am gonna take my tear and tape. And adhere that down to the card base. Oh, she, yeah, it is late. She may be asleep. She might be watching the replay tomorrow. That's fine. So I have the lattice attached to the card now, but I'm also gonna place some tear and tape on both sides because I want it to stick to the, um, to the card nicely. Okay, take our bone folder and burnish. Then I'm gonna take my take your pick tool and I'm gonna pick at the center of my tear and tape. It didn't burnish well enough on the, on there. So let me take it from here. One more. Okay, so now I'm going to close up my card base. I stamped the inside already. I'm gonna close up my card base. Then I'm going to lay this right on top of the card base. Now I have to pull it down because I have to see. If I have it way up there, I can't see over the camera. And I want to get this as straight as I can because tear and tape's on there. Okay. There we go. So now there is my card. Now I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to take the biggest flower. Let me show you the case because I don't have my stickers on. This one here. And I said I needed um, post-it note. And I do just because I don't like to get any ink on the pretty little scallops there. So I just cover them up so I can stamp freely. Now here is where I'm gonna use the stays on ink 
instead of the Momento ink because I'm going to use Winkastella and that is a chemical. So I want to make sure that I don't have any bleed. go and when I I've made a few of these cards and so when I cut out the circle on this base here I kept the circles to use to stamp on to stamp my dragonflies on now with stays on it's a sticky ink so when you go to pull your uh, block up and your stamp I like to like peel it back you'll hear it probably I'll be quiet so you can hear it it's sticking to the paper so I like to peel it back so I can get as nice of an image as I can. All right, now I'm gonna set that aside for a second and I'm gonna stamp two dragonflies. And again, I choose to use the stays on ink. And I just re-inked this pad about an hour ago just to make sure. Like I said, I always do that with stays on. And again, when I go to pull this off, I'm gonna peel it back. Hi, Diane, welcome. Did I miss anybody else? Hi, Margaret. Peel back. There we go. All right. Set those two aside. And then there is stays on cleaner, or you can clean them right away to get the... It does stain your stamps. The stays on ink does. All right. So the pastels. I wanted to use Wink Estella so that my... Hi, Julia. So that my... Um, that my project would have a lot of shimmer in it. And I also wanted a lot of color in my project. So if you just take the Wink Estella onto your pastels and you color, it's very, very light. It is yellow, but it's very, very light. Okay, so I thought and thought and thought. I watched Sarah, and she she was saying the same thing. It's very light. So I took my um, take your pick tool, and I just pressing onto the pastel and scratching. And now I can pick up. Okay, Margaret, I will ha I will pick up the powder. Now look how much darker that is. Because the chalk is now loose and you're able to grab and get color. And using this with your um, Wink Estella just makes everything shine and shimmer. So pretty. Okay, then I'm just going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to shave a little bit more of the green. And then I'm gonna go into the leaves and the stem, whatever you want to color on this image. So if you um, don't have a lot of color, or you don't, you're so glad you're showing how to use it. Oh, good. Or you don't um, like to spend a lot of time and color. Or if you like soft, then, or you need a card that is soft, then this is the technique you want to use because it is really soft and you don't have to stay in the lines 
and you have so many colors right at your fingertips. Now I'm taking a little bit of purple, which end of the take your pick tool, the sharp, the sharp pick part, and just scratch. Now I'm taking purple, and I there's not, not a brown chalk in here, so I am just decided I was gonna use the purple and add a little in there just for extra color. But you have oranges and blues and whatever you want. So I'm just gonna tap some color in there. And the minute you see that it's too light, just shave again with your take your pick tool. And can you believe it? These pastels are $9. So that's great. And if you have your old ones still from years and years and years ago, a lot of my customers have been with me forever. So grateful for that, by the way. Um, this will work on that, I'm sure. Look at that. Okay, so let's go to the dragonflies. So I'm gonna start again with a light color. This is the darker of the two um, yellows in the, in, the, in the pastels, but see how dark that is? I tried with all kinds of different ways to get darker color with these pastels, and it just wasn't happening until I shaved it with the tip of the take, my take your pick tool. So I'm just gonna put yellow on this one. I forget, I always say this, I forget what time of year it is that the dragonflies come out in my yard and they just are iridescent and they fly low to the lawn and they're just so beautiful. About 10 o'clock in the morning, they come out and they just got all this color and they get close to us. I, I, they're not afraid of us at all. And they're so pretty. So now I'm just, didn't even clean off my pen, my marker, my Wink Estella, went right to the lavender. Now I'm gonna go to the blue. Then I am gonna go to the orange. Back to the purple and just color them. Mix the colors on top of each other to get these guys to look however you want them to look. And like I said, don't worry about going outside of the lines. I've got a punch and I'm just gonna punch this right out and it's gonna look beautiful. Let's just get that. Paint it as well as you'd like it. And then slip it, oh, here's a trick too. This is a circle and I might have trouble, which I, I was having trouble. Oh, I've got some sticky on the end of this already. I'm gonna stick just a piece of scrap paper onto my circle and then I have a handle that I can control my dragonfly with, the handle. I th think I've shown you this before but just in case you weren't here then. And then I'm gonna punch when I get it straight. Okay, so there's one. And then this one, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. Now, when you uh, think you need more Stella, you remember there's a push button there on both sides. You wanna come over to something that and, and squeeze, but make sure, see that big drop there? You don't want that to go on your project. So I was squeezing really hard. So I caught it. Okay, so now I've got a really wet tip and I'm gonna go back to my yellow. But I love the really wet tip because everything is so much shinier. And the minute your pastels start to lighten up, if I didn't, if I said this already, I apologize, then just scrape it some more with that. Take your pick tool. If 
you don't have a take your pick tool yet, you can probably use a needle or something like that, a fork, anything with a pointy edge. Okay, let me take some blue on this one. Ooh, pretty. Make them all, oh, I really like the blue there. Okay, that's light, so I'm gonna scrape and get some powder lifted. Now it's gonna be dark though, so be careful because I really liked that light. Now see how much darker this is? But I just went lightly with it so I didn't get too much on there if I didn't want it. Oh my goodness, this blue is gorgeous. Okay, and let's see, let's try some purple. Oh yeah. This is fun, 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 and quick. And even a beginner can do this. Oh, I really like this one. What do you guys think? Oh, Diane, very clever. Okay, which end are you using? I answered that. So let me get my little strip. What did I do with it? I'll get another one. And I will put some seal on the end. Place the dragonfly on there. And bring them into my tool. Line it up. And punch. Okay, so now I have two different dragonflies. And this one I did first, so it's, it's dry. So I'm gonna take my bone folder and I am going to curl the wings. Then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna go from the body just in a, just about a quarter of an inch, the opposite direction. So I give my wings this type of a look here. Okay. So I can come back and put my dragonfly right on my card. So let's get this card together first though. You're gonna need your mat and your paper piercing tool or your, your uh, take your pick tool again. And I just lay this scalloped cutout onto the card. But notice I opened up my card so I don't go through the whole card. I only wanna go through the front, the top. I didn't see the pastels in the book. So glad you showed them. Going to order soon, some. Yes, I know, they're hard to see. You're, you're not the only one. I didn't know about them until about six months ago, four months ago, something like that. So I take the, the sharp end of the take your pick tool and I just push and I make a hole and then I go to my brads and you can take, we have in the brads, there's white and there's black. On this card, I used the black. On this card, I'll use the white, just, just to show you that they both work. And you can use the circles or you can use the squares, it doesn't matter. Stick it in and then open it up, open up the legs to seal. Now, you know me, I don't care for those legs to show on the inside of my card. Probably not a big deal to a lot of people, but I took my a retired one inch punch and I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm just gonna put some glue around the legs of the um, Brad. Come out. Got a clogged one, hold on here. Okay. Knew that was gonna happen, didn't you? Ooh, 
way too much glue. Okay, and then just put this circle down and hold it there and flatten out the legs. Next time, there's always a next time. Okay, so that, I think that circle looks a lot better than, than, the little, um, than the little legs. So now your card will swing open. And let me move my mat. And here I'm gonna take the other stamp. What's it say? That's the thank you. This one says, my good things grow all year. No, I don't want that one. You are an inspiration. That's the one I want, Memento Ink. Hi, Barb. I'm gonna stamp on my scrap to make sure it's straight. Couldn't tell. Okay. Stamp that on the inside. Okay. Then I can take one of the dragonflies, and it doesn't matter which one, and lay it there with a little dimensional underneath. Or you could lay it flat if you'd like. And then another butterfly. This time I'm gonna take a bigger one, just for the heyday of it. There we go, aren't they cute? And then um, more dimensional. Swing my card shut. Curve my wings. Just a little way this direction. Oh, and um, it was one of the, uh, the banner behind me was one of the um, supply items we could get years ago. I don't know how many years ago. I'm going to guess eight or so years ago at least. So look how sweet this card is. Now, down in the corner, if you like, you can add a bow. I just think this card has so much going on. On this one, I stamped plain, but you can also take one of these and add this on the inside like that and even make it fancier. But since I put this one, stamped it right away and put a butterfly, I'm gonna leave it plain. And let me show you how I added the ribbon. But I have to clean up my mess. I get all, I don't know, OCD, I guess, when I have too many things in front of me. Okay. So here is the ribbon, and it is the Soft Succulent New In Color Ribbon. And I'm going to take my, the, the length of my mat plus about half more. It's probably too much. And then I'm going to fold it in half to make my double bow, as I usually do. Not the double bow that I showed the other day in Annie One, all those. That's a little different. This is just two pieces and a regular bow. So I'm gonna go in this corner here. And then the loop is gonna go in this little scallop here. Then I like to make sure the back is nice. Okay. 
pull this this way. Then we just make a regular bow. I wish they would bring back items like that for us to demonstrate who join after so we can get them if we were if we wanted them oh the the um, the banners yeah yeah since I have a team I I grab it because you know if they want to do crafts um, craft shows or an event or anything and they can borrow mine they they can be pricey so i try to get one and lend them out to demonstrators that are close by me and can you you know bring it right back in a day or two you like the position of this bow i do too i think this is just absolutely adorable and this is the loop so i'm going to cut that apart and then angle and cut and then pull the bow until all the loops show and are the right length. Hi, Lois. So you could actually, before you put the card together though, you could actually stamp another sentiment here if you would like. I could have used that for my crafts fair. Oh, darn, yeah. So there you go. So this is my swing card, open for a surprise. They'll know that it's gonna open because it's, you can see that there's something under there. So they're gonna be curious and they're gonna swing it open and then they can swing it closed, open it up. You can still write your note. It stands up very lovely. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. And it's just fun. Now I can imagine so many different stamp sets using this, this little swing card. So many, you could call it a peekaboo card, whatever you want to call it. Oh, thanks you guys. I'm glad you liked it. So I have more to show you on Tuesday with things you might already have, DSPs and things like that. So come back Tuesday at 2, and we'll play together again. Oh, good, Debbie. I'm glad you like it, and you're going to try it. Thanks, Roseanne. All right, you guys. We'll see you Tuesday, 2 o'clock. Bye-bye.